Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for coming around and if you're old here, thanks for sticking around. Today's video is going to be tips for attending Generation Beauty New York 2017. When I was attending this event last year, I wish I had seen videos on what to expect at this event because then I'd be better prepared. I mean, I had fun nonetheless, but I just wish I was better prepared. If you don't know what Generation Beauty is, it's an event created by the Ipsy brand. You know, the glam bag that everybody does videos on here on YouTube. It's an event created by the Ipsy brand that brings together um, fashion creators, beauty creators, top makeup brands, and all their fans under the same roof. So you can have fun, you can, there's going to be meet and greets, there's going to be a lot of free goodies, there's going to be goodies up for purchase, there's going to be a lot of things. Uh, definitely, I hope this video helps someone because the, I, I want you guys to be prepared. You know, I mean, it's not like you're not going to war. It's just that I want you to be prepared. So, um, this year the the event is going to be in the Jacob Javits Center here on 34th Street. Uh, last year the event was at Brooklyn by one of the peers. Uh, I'm kind of digging that it's here in New York and not in Brooklyn. Not because I have anything against Brooklyn. I mean, I made it to Brooklyn fine in one piece, left in one piece. But um, I'm just happy that it's here in New York, in, in Manhattan, because that way you can get there. If you don't want to take your car, you can take public transportation, but it's easier. Like at when I went to the event last year, I had to find parking for my car. I had to walk you know, a pretty distance to the location because the event, where the event was being held, they had parking, and I think the parking was 20, 20 to thirty dollars. I think, and Mama was not paying twenty to thirty dollars to have her car parked in a location for like four or five hours when I could have used that twenty or thirty dollars to buy something at the event. So, I parked outside. And then I walked to the location and everything was fine and then so definitely let me start out by telling you creators that have been com confirmed to be there at the 2017 uh, Gen Beauty we have of course Michelle Fond the Ipsy Queen herself and then we got the Ipsy gang you're gonna have Gabriel Zamora, Jalissa Moses, uh, Sydney Black Karen Young, and Madeline. Then you're going to have uh, Mario Didivanovic. I hope I said that right. I hope I didn't crucify his name. But Mario is, you know, the creator behind this uh, master palette. He's going to be there. And then you're going to have Candy Johnson, Nicole Guerrero, Nikki Tutorials, Exterior Glam, and... Many others. If you want to know the whole lineup, definitely go to Generation Beauty and you can see the whole lineup there for whoever's confirmed to come to the event and have their meet and greets. Um, so, tip number one. I would definitely say um, you're going to be on long lines and you're going to be standing the majority of the time. So I would definitely say wear comfortable shoes so that you can enjoy yourself. If you take care of your feet, your feet will take care of you. So definitely wear comfortable shoes and I guarantee you, you will, pain will not be a matter. <laughs> I mean, at least foot pain would not be a matter here. Um, when you arrive at the event, you're going to get one of these which, you know, a lanyard with um, a name tag, and you're going to get your Generation Beauty attendee passport. So 
The passport, which is this, is a map. This is last year's, by the way. I just uh, this and this is last year's um things. I just wanted to use them as examples for this video. So you're gonna get one of these. You're gonna get a, a a passport, and it definitely is a passport. The name suits it very well. And what it is is a map of the location, an outline of where. Let me see if you can see this a little clearer. An outline of where all the makeup booths, all the beauty brands, where they're going to be. That's these are the numbers. And what this is is their name. So you have, for example. Um, I'm going by last year's um, list. You had uh, Tarte, you had Benefit, It Cosmetics, you had H2O, Too Faced, Bare Minerals, Makeup Forever, NYX, you had Rock Your Hair, you had Absolute, Laneige, Estee Edit, Pure, Elf, Ardell, and so on and so on. So you have their names, and right next to their names, you're going to have, they're going to give you like a little number, that little number you look for it up here in the map. So for example, Tarte, they gave Tarte last year D1. So you look at the map and you find D1. There it is, D1. So what you do is you find a Tarte ticket. This is the Tarte stub, cause you're gonna, it's gonna come with these little stubs on it. Don't rip them all off. Take one at a time. As you go to the booth, you take off the ticket. That way all the tickets are in place and you don't lose anything because if you rip off all the tickets just to have them already ripped up and in your hand and ready to go, you may lose a ticket. And if you lose a ticket, you don't get your product. So no ticket, no product. Because when you get to the booth, for example, I was talking about Tarte, using Tarte as an example, you take off the, the little Tarte stub, you stand on the Tarte line, you know, on the booth where you, you go to the booth where Tarte is going to be and then... You stand on the line, and when you get to the front of the line, you give the representative the your ticket, and they'll give you your free item. So all these tickets means free items, a lot of free items. So you give the ticket to your to the representative, and the representative is going to give you your free item. If you don't have a ticket, you will not get an item. So you can beg and plead and scream and say that you had it and that whatever they don't care you will not get a product you have to have your ticket so please keep this safe safe and then so yeah so that's the way it's gonna be for every makeup brand you go you find them rip the little ticket off go to the booth give them the ticket get your free item and then keep it moving uh, as you're there Oh, when you go in, hopefully this year, they, well, when I went last year, I, when I went in and I registered, they didn't have any more swag bags available at the time. I had to go, they told me to go in and enjoy myself and then come back about an hour later and I, and they would have more swag bags available. So nobody was left without a swag bag. It's just that they didn't have enough for, I guess, when I got there. And they were preparing more or getting more or whatever the issue was. I got my swag bag, but I didn't get it when I registered. So maybe this year when you go, you know, and you register, you'll most likely get your swag bag. And this is what the swag bag looks like. It comes in, a, they put it in one of these um, little bags and it's full of goodies, full of all kinds of goodies. So definitely, again... Make sure you keep this safe because up here, this is Sunday's uh, gift bag. I only went on Saturday last year. I went on Saturday. I didn't go on Sunday, so I didn't get another um, the other gift bag. But you'll have a ticket that says Saturday and a ticket that says Sunday. So for every day, for each day, you'll have your little, you need to have your little ticket to get your swag bag. Otherwise, no ticket. No swag back. Um, then you'll definitely takes me. This will take me to tip number two. Have your eyes and your ears open because 
they're going to be making a lot of announcements. There'll be a lot of noise. There's going to be music playing. You know, all the different booths are going to have their music and sound going on at the same time. And you definitely want to have your eyes and your ears open because there, there'll be a lot of announcements. And in the announcements, you're going to hear a uh, certain creator, a uh, certain YouTuber is going to be at this booth doing their meet and greet at this time and um certain booth is going to open up at this time or they're going to reopen because sometimes they'll close for like a break and then they'll reopen so if you haven't gotten to them that'll be your chance to get to them but you have to listen so you have to keep your eyes and ears open because you want to definitely see where it's at and you definitely want to know where it's at you don't want to miss any meet and greets you don't want to miss any of your free products and yeah you, you just don't want to miss out so, and what do they call that? They call that FOMO, fear of missing out. You definitely don't want to have FOMO. So, keep your eyes and your ears open. Um, tip number three would be, if, if you can go with somebody, if you plan to go with somebody, that's, it definitely would be great because that way, when, if, if, you know, if it's more than one person, you guys can stand on different lines. And then, you know, somebody can stand like on the meet and greet line, which is going to take forever. The meet and greet lines usually take a very long time. I mean, they keep it pushing. They try to, you know, just you get to the person, you get to your to the YouTuber. They you, you exchange a few words, take a picture and keep it moving. They, they, they try to be fair so that everyone can make it. But unfortunately, that's where your time will be wasted. I mean... Let's take, let's take up the fact that it's from 11 to 5. I mean, if you got early admission, then you'll be there from 10 to 5. But you don't want to be two and three hours on one line and then have no time to go around and get your free items. Or maybe go see another uh, YouTuber that's doing a meeting great. So, again... Going back to if you go with someone, someone can stand on, stand on the meeting greet line and then... The other one can go around and get their product, get their little, you know, take the little ticket, go get their product, and then come back and switch with the person on the meet and greet line, and they go get their products. Definitely another thing would be to go, what I did was, I went to the smallest lines first, like the smallest, whatever was, like the small little companies, the small little brands, or whatever, if it wasn't, if it didn't have a lot of people, I went there first. Because it just made sense to get whatever it was I was going to get from that booth. And then save the longest lines for later. I mean, you probably would think, you know, do the longest lines first. and then the. But as the day starts progressing, more and more people start showing up. It gets more and more packed. And that means you may not make it to some of these places. Again, have in mind that if you do your... Um, Ticket allows you entrance on Saturday and it allows you entrance on Sunday. So whatever you couldn't do on Saturday, you conquer on Sunday with the exception of that you may not see the YouTuber on the second day. There may not be a meet and greet with a certain YouTuber on the second day. But if they do come on both days, that'll be great. So if all you, you big YouTubers are going to be there and you do both days, that'll be awesome. Um... Definitely take water and take some snacks. If you guys want to have like a lunch or a, or a breakfast, like a heavy lunch or breakfast before you get there, that'll be great because you don't want to be hungry. You start to get hungry. You start to get aggravated. You start to get impatient and you just want everything to be over. You just want to be done with it. I mean, if you go on a, on, a, on a, a nice full belly, you'll be happy. You'll be comfortable. You won't be hungry. And you're definitely going to want to stay and, and, and finish the event. So definitely take water and snacks so that if you did have something like a big heavy meal, you have snacks in between, you have your water, and you don't have to worry about stopping and going to the water fountain. You probably have to take a break and go to the bathroom. But, you know, when nature calls, nature calls, and you, you, you got to answer. But uh, definitely have water so you don't have to stop and keep finding a water fountain and um, have less time for going around the whole uh, location for your free goodies. Because me, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for these free goodies. Like, I'm just, if I go there and get all my free goodies, then I worry about spending money. I mean, 
you can while you get to your free goodie like when you get to whatever booth you'll have a chance to see things that are launching that haven't launched out to the public yet you'll get first access to um you'll have um access to buy whatever the um brand is selling at the time so that will take me to my next tip uh take cash and take a debit or credit because some booths are going to take cash and then some booths are only going to take debit or credit so you don't want to go with just cash and then stand on a long line and find out that they only accept debit and credit so i would say definitely take both cash and debit and credit so that you can not lose out you'll be ready be prepared um what will be my next tip my next tip is bring a bag for your goodies so if you're already bringing a pocketbook make it hopefully it, it, it's a big pocketbook make sure you have space in there so that if you don't want to bring a bag i would definitely say bring a bag anyways you can tuck it in your pocketbook in case you need it uh because not all the booths are going to give you a bag. You're going to get there, they're going to give you a free item, and if you decide to purchase something, then you may get a bag. But you may not get a bag. So if you don't get a bag, you have your own bag, and you can dump all your goodies in there and all your products in there because you don't want to be walking around with all these products in hand and then you bump into a YouTube or someone that you may want to take a picture with and you have all this stuff and who's going to hold it for you, and, you know, it gets complicated. So definitely if you have a bag, an extra bag, that would be great because again you can dump all your goodies in there and just hold on to it so you can and you can have your snacks in there your water in there so if you have like a big pocketbook and it's a tote style pocketbook that's probably a good idea um you can also take a backpack if you don't want to take a, a, a pocketbook i would definitely recommend a backpack because it leaves your hands with free access to you know you have it on your back and it leaves your hands with free access to be able to take pictures and take videos which brings me to my next tip don't forget your camera and don't forget your phone if it's your phone that you take pictures with and do videos with definitely don't forget that because you're gonna want it you're gonna need it and then if you don't have it you're gonna regret it so definitely your phone camera your your video camera whatever it is you guys do your vlogs with or take your pictures with definitely have it handy um and if it's a camera you definitely want to have it on a lanyard you don't want something dropping and you know mistakes happen you may be you get excited and, and you start fumbling around and you drop your camera it happens all the time so definitely keep your camera on a lanyard that way it's safe you know that if 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 you happen to drop it it's around your neck it's not going anywhere um my next tip would be have fun while you're there have a lot of fun you know go to your lines go to your booths meet people network this is a great way to network if um you have a youtube channel you can take uh this is a good way to promote your channel like when i went last year this is my lanyard my my name tag from last year i just put my name flow on it but i would definitely recommend putting your youtube channel on it your the, the name of your youtube channel that way you can promote it while you're there people are looking at it and they see your little youtube channel name and they may ask and if they don't ask they saw it so it's a good way for you to promote yourself you know somebody's got to do it and it's also a good idea too if you want to make little business cards with like i said it's a good way to network so if you're a makeup artist and you want to network with anybody there this is a good way to do it. Having your information handy and ready to go is the way to do it. If you have to stop and write a note and all of that. I mean, if you have time, if there's time and the person is willing on waiting, then you have a good chance. But, you know, chances are that it's going to be a, a, a momentary thing. You say hi, you exchange a few words, and you may want to give them your information, and that's a good way to do it and keep it moving. So have your business cards ready. Um... What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to make sure that I give you as many tips as I can so that, you know, you guys go prepared at least. Um, yeah, so we covered the shoes. We covered the bag. We covered snacks. We covered um, what to expect when you arrive, which is you're going to check in. If you don't have a printed ticket, 
you can your phone there will be a ticket if wherever you purchased your ticket from which is Tixar this year that's who was selling it um they'll send you a a barcode a Q and R code to your uh, phone and when you get there you open that up make sure that your screen is not cracked if it's cracked those barcodes are very hard to read and you will not get in if they can't read it if they can't scan it so you make sure that you have that your phone is not cracked so if it is just print it out the night before and take your printed ticket with you without that ticket you can't get in so yeah so we got our tickets covered we got what the passport is for definitely keep this don't lose it it's, this is going to get you in and around the whole location smoothly when you know because you know where everything is at um what else yeah I think that's it I think we definitely covered everything so I hope this video is helpful to someone anyone I mean I definitely do wish I had videos like this last year when I went or maybe they were videos and I just didn't find them or I couldn't find them or I did did I look? Yeah, I think I looked them up, but I didn't find them. I think it was when I came back from the event that people were making uh, tip videos for Generation Beauty. But, um, yeah, so that completes this video. Um, remember to be kind. It costs nothing. means a million to someone, anyone, guaranteed. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, wait. No, no bye. Let's not forget the lipstick of the day, which is what I'm wearing today, and that is the Estee Edit lipstick and the color wrapped. It's a nice burgundy full color. Yeah, so that is the lipstick of the day. And now we are done with this video. So thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.